showing us some of the places where he grew up and this happens to be the building where he went to high school and this is you can tell now dad the auditorium yeah that the building on the left is the is the uh, high school uh, building that we took most most of our classes in but the and the one here on the right with the round uh, dome there is a gymnasium and that's usually where the band practice we had our basketball games and things like that um, what did you play in the band? I played uh, baritone and uh, trombone, two different uh, um, and Then is this where you would enter, where that door is over there? No. Or, or was it not more out, the front? Right out there on those front steps. Of course, you know, some of this may have been redone. I've, after all, it's been 50 years, over 50 years. But out on those front steps, we have a picture of... Uh, uh, my graduating class, uh, which stood out on the front steps. They look smaller than they did then, so I got a feeling that's been redone, but that's what time does. Things wear out. But the old building, though, especially the gymnasium here, uh, with the auditorium on the front of it, uh, looks pretty original. That looks pretty original. Uh, the parking lot looks pretty original, too. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't say. look like they've done much. Uh, and over across the street, you can turn around and go ahead and get this. Get these two houses, and all I can say is one of those two. Can you hear me? Yeah, keep right? going, yeah. I went, to, I went to seminary in one of those two houses. I can't be sure which. Uh, this one on the left looks more like the house that I went to seminary in, but it looks, perhaps it's been remodeled three or four times. I, I think it's more like this one here on the left that I went to uh, seminary, mixed in with high school. You know how that is, most of you kids. But you'd have it during the middle of the We'd day. We'd have it during the day, yeah. yeah. Right, uh-huh. We'd work it in during the day. Like a regular class. We had a class that we could come over there and spend an hour. And <clears throat> Looks like these buildings now are used for uh, school administrative offices. <clears throat> this might be interesting up here now that I'm thinking about it. This is pretty original. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, Look, it's all overgrown and You think they are? Yeah, I think so. We got a picture of the, the group of graduating somewhere. I don't think that handrail was in the middle then. But probably didn't have to have it. They probably have to have it now for regulations and stuff. Oh, this sidewalk right here. The same one, huh? Gosh. Well, it'll sound crazy what what I'm what happened, but there was initiation into the agriculture class that we had to go through. As freshmen, we had to be initiated into the agriculture class. And the upperclassmen stood on each side of this sidewalk with belts. Oh, God. Belts folded. And it sounds cruel now, don't it? Yeah. But there used to be initiation, and that helped you. I guess that helped you grow. <laughs> <laughs> and their, their interpretation, of, that made you uh, <clears throat> stronger, huh? Into the class, <laughs> yeah. stronger. And we would run. We'd start up there, and us freshmen would run down this belt line. Belt line, they called it. And they were on each side. And they'd take swings at us as we came down the high sidewalk. And uh, some of them didn't get us. Some did. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we got down here, where I'm standing now, we'll, uh, our, our uh, rears was kind of warm. And uh, that was... we, we laughed about it. Really. They mm -hmm. really laughed about it. <laughs> But that was initiation into the agriculture class. Right was the, was the pavement it. smoother then than it is now? Well, it's yeah. Just over it, years, it's kind it of collapsed, pretty, huh? It looks pretty original. It looks pretty original. Just like an old uh, headstone in a cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> Those old trees. If they could. Well, I bet they could, if they could talk, huh? Yeah. They'd have some things to say. The Were there ever trees over here? Was it always open like that? I don't recall. I think perhaps it was about like it was open mostly like this. I mean, Did you come out here and eat lunch or something, or do you ever do anything yeah, like that and sit on the grass? Occasionally, sometime we'd go uptown, right up the street here, 
Uh, we did, it was not far uptown, and uh, we'd run. We could get up there and have lunch and get back to school. It's right up across that railroad track there. Yeah. Sometimes we that was a special though when we'd have enough money to go up there and buy lunch. <laughs> but lunch would cost what, 15 cents? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sort of. Um, the girl, of course, the girl over there in that house named Futrell, I think that's rather interesting too, and that's pretty original. That house right behind the stop sign. I'm getting there. Her name was Futrell, and she graduated in the same class that I did. We were the same age, but uh, there was no relation. I thought that's rather interesting. Now her name's Futrell. still right there in front of her house. Your name's still there, yeah. Maybe if you didn't. I did. Live there. there, you know those people must live there. Maybe. Here comes a train. You can hear it. Let's well, see. there was times on a... Uh, Certain kinds of certain kinds of nights, we could hear the train clear out in Kelsey. You picking that up? We could hear it. Yep. That's, that's, oh, I love that sound. That is neat. It's coming down this way. Bring back some memories, huh? <laughs> and now here, another generation, I hear trains and I think of Grandma Futrell and living up there in uh, and, and Los Angeles in that house and listening to it at night and that brings on a different kind of memory, yeah. but yet it's still connected to uh, him and the trains and the... Uh, way back for me and this is even further back. I want you to look at that dog. He's got two big chains on him. Well, he must be a mean dog. Look at, look at, <laughs> huh. <laughs> but it's terrible to think that they put two. I well, mean, one big chain, I can see, but two. I didn't know it was going to affect you quite Well, he got choked up just telling me about the running up that sidewalk. I never heard that before. What, is, what was it? Let me turn this off. It helped to keep us from doing it, actually, again. Dad had a little hamburger stand right here. Uh, you were right Dad? Yeah. It's just here at the little building. Yeah. They I tried didn't it. Know that. They tried it for a while, but it didn't work out too well because they had too much competition from town. What the heck? They built this railroad track <laughs> up here high. Um, right, right in here someplace. Of course, all this has been changed. Nothing coming is. I guess they got no. lights here though. A little small. Right in by that railroad track there. In the. I don't know. They didn't have it very long. I think perhaps just about a year. And uh, I don't know whether they just sold it or what. It was a small little building, but. These streets look like they're not even driven on very much. <laughs> but this would be the street we'd come up like if we wanted to hurry up to town here. To so get, this is downtown Gilmer. Get lunch, right? I'm up. just saying it for the video oh, yeah. now. Oh yeah. This is the road that comes up from um, from the high school, of course, up to town.
probably the only way my children are ever safe down in Texas, huh? Yes. Yeah. Through this video. Yeah. <laughs> He's back up here one more. That's probably an old name. That Fowler's an old name. I went to school with Bill, Billy Fowler, and of course that was the, the guy's son that owned that. Billy Fowler, I guess, was the one that owned the store now. And right in there where that cook florist is is where Henry's Cafe was. Lunches for people. It was so simple then, though. Now it's they're all just... sweeping. There's the courthouse. Now they're all sweeping, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> kind of something you don't see very often. Yeah. Maybe we should stop so she can get a better picture of the courthouse. Let's talk about this building again, Dad. I know you've got a turn here, but what happened here at the Strand Building and what did it used to be? Yeah. Very difficult. It'll be easier when they get out of town, but out there in the country there won't be people running over you. Most a lot of this looks pretty interesting too. I'll take a stroll over there to that building, get that up out of the way. Just where I got the I believe that's where the doctor was. Upstairs and wait, I got upstairs in that. If you can, yeah, you I'm, you I've can got get it. That reading on I've that? got it. Wilburn Insurance Agency. I zoomed in on it. Mm -hmm. and you in, that, in that building upstairs, I believe, is where the doctor's office was that gave me the shot that started me getting well from my pneumonia when I was nine years old. Uh, I believe it's in that upstairs in that building. So what? You think it was a bank downstairs? Or yeah. Then? Yeah. But I can't see it being anywhere else but yeah. a bank downstairs and a doctor's office upstairs. Things were simpler than that. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, the bank takes uh, nine stories, you know, and they take the whole building. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Across the road here to the Strand Building. Strand, Strand Theater. When I was a kid, kid growing up, that we used. To, uh, the theater had the same name as this building has now, the Strand. And this is where we came on Saturdays to see our cowboy movies. And uh, uh, Roy Rogers. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, Ken Maynard, which uh, that name doesn't mean anything to anybody, but Roy Rogers means something. And Gene Autry right here in this building, back when they was young guys and <clears throat> doing, uh, carrying the guns and riding their horses and where the good guy won and the bad guy lost, right there. And you'd come down here and you said, <laughs> go into this building. The next door was a grocery store and they had the restaurant right next door here. They had a restaurant, now it's different. But they had a little restaurant area in this store where they made hamburgers, sandwiches and so forth. And it was pretty much a routine that we'd, we'd come in here, get a couple of hamburgers, which we could get for 10 cents a piece, and they were about as large as the Whopper, the uh, Burger King Whopper, for about 10 cents a piece, or three for a quarter. But we couldn't eat three of them, but three of us could split. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'd come to the movie, right next door. Huh. And that, that was be, your Saturday, huh? Perhaps our folks would maybe leave us here, and they'd have something else to do, and then they'd pick us up later, you know, because because uh, everything was uh, more simple then. Simpler, huh? They could trust leaving their kids and they would, didn't, didn't have, have to, to worry, about worry about somebody uh, kidnapping them or whatever. Yeah. But Give they'd be drugs. back at a certain time. They knew when the movies was over and then they could come back and pick us up. And we'd, a lot of times we'd ride into town from Kelsey where we're going down. We're going out to Kelsey in a minute. But we'd ride in from there, usually in the back of the pickup. Uh, we'd take us some chairs and put them in the back of the pickup. And this was the big event. The courthouse. I see was, it. And out there, the benches, as you can see, was where a lot of people would uh, sit and talk most of the day on Saturday. It's where the guys would meet, the old farmers. 
What did you say about that Roberts building? I can get in on that here. What, did you say something about that? Well, it's just changed. It used to be a clothing store. Oh. No. It's, it's just changed. That's, uh, Over there, I don't know how, whether you can pick up that. Yeah? Right about where that craft. Uh huh, Crafters Mall. Crafter Mall. Mm -hmm. Right about where that building is was a. Uh, Another kind of a store, but that's not important. They, uh, on election time, at election time, they would put up the uh, put up a large uh, blackboard type thing there, huge, large as the building, uh -huh. right than the building, so that we could all see it back here when we gathered oh. out here to watch the election returns oh. come in. Right there, about where that Crafters Mall is, they put this big blackboard type thing up and they'd keep the score on the count on the Who was votes winning. that was coming in and uh, just to uh, give you an example of course there was guys running for sheriff you know county sheriff uh, which is still happens nowadays I had an uncle my uncle Tom Bradshaw for example uh, ran for uh, for cotton wear <laughs> cotton, cotton wear layer? That was a position. He didn't get much money for it, but he ran for cotton wear one, one year, and I don't think he won. I think another guy beat him out. But that was some of the funny little jobs. Here. But there was also congressmen, congressmen, and uh, uh, higher offices that would, would come in on this board, and we'd stand here till late at night and watch the uh, vote be counted, and they'd get up there with an eraser and rub off the figure and go back up and change them and keep an update. Uh, now we watch TV to see yeah. those things, don't we? It's all done electronically <laughs> and on computers. And but of course, this was uh, this was people that we knew, a lot of these people that was running for office. You know, we knew yeah. them. And, uh, and it meant a lot, uh, the politics of the thing, and who would win. It meant a lot to us to watch the results coming in. It was a big event. Okay. One second, Dad. I just want to run up here for a second. What? Did you smoke a cigar? No. Sir. Back in those days? No. Sir. Well, anyway, we had a mailman that drove out there and smoked Harry a cigar. Rutledge. Harry Rutledge. That's yeah. the guy. <laughs> That's the guy that smoked a cigar. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about? <laughs> well, I guess you do. You can. Oh, yeah. Harry Rutledge. Exactly. I'm sorry. I didn't remember. <laughs> Four, two, three, four. Uh huh. Well, that was the year that I was in high school, of course. You didn't come. No, there's a bridge up to uh, Mr. All Store. Up Mr. All Store. Yeah. That bridge yeah. come with six inch snow one night. <laughs> Next morning I got up and had mud tires, but had two slick tires on the back, two good ones on the front. <laughs> so I made the kills. Two inches of the <laughs> on the house, I changed the tire, run on the back of the bike. I went on around route, pretty close schedule. I got back in, and then he'd come up another carrier, he made about a half year now. I thought he was all the way. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll give you pay, a day's pay to finish my round. I said, I want to finish my two days. <laughs> And that was just one day in the life of a mailman, huh? <laughs> just one day. Oh how many years? God. How long Mother? did you care? 43 years. You care? You care? Mother! I worked the post office. For the post office, 43 yeah. years. Yeah, it used to be right over there in that building. Yeah. Right down there on the corner. Yeah. Now it's a oh, museum. Yeah. Yeah. It's a museum now. So. Where is the post office now? New building, probably. Oh, I feel just taking calls. Mailman. Oh, he's just a mailman now. Now, he's an old mailman. <laughs> Go here and get a hamburger too. Go there and go to the movies. Hi. This is my wife. Oh, I heard about this man here. <laughs> I knew more about Kelsey. <laughs> well, it sounds like it. It sounds like it. I, I guess you're uh, perhaps uh, nine or ten years. I'm 67. I'm 79. 79. Uh, you carried the mail. Yeah. yeah. And I remember the other guy. I remember that name, hearing that name, your name. But Harry Rutledge was the guy I really knew. 
was the best because I remember the cigar and how we looked forward to him coming by the house. Justin had an old kind of house. He did. He went to a sign painter town, put it back in. Yeah. A little sign painter get out there. Are you in Miles, 35 miles north of. Uh, Would you let me get <laughs> run for road commission? Uh, I didn't know it. Maybe I uh, forgot about it. But Bart, his grandson. Who? Bart. Yeah, Bart, his grandson. He's doing some work for me. Yeah. 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 Well, here we are. Good to see you. You know, we're so glad to see you. If you're looking for a match, you'll just forget it. <laughs> you 
No, I was just saying right out there when I stopped, he was right behind me. And I, I said to my daughter, can you imagine somebody being behind me on this road? He wanted to stop and, and talk about the roads and talk about the lay of the land. And he looked, he goes, somebody's behind me again. <laughs> They've been behind me because I've been driving slow, you know, yeah. right here looking. And telling me that, stories. That lane is, uh, is the great contrast of the of a, of a great expressway because it has a lot of... Uh, you know, yeah, a lot of and holes yeah, and things. Yeah. Like, not Grand Canyon. No, not Grand Canyon. Little. <laughs> What's on over this road anymore? Anything? I was just, over back. What I was doing was Big stopping area. there to point straight ahead to say that that lane, that lane there, Dan, that's the bed. Yeah. There's right on that side of those trees. Well, who's there? Yeah. Abel Shipman. Oh, I remember that. Abel Shipman. The way that road looks, Dad, up there, is that the way the roads used to look around here? Uh huh. <laughs> How it's the red dirt and yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's how the other roads all look, probably. You you were talking about how it was a dirt road out this way before. Yeah. It didn't change much. But uh, well, Uncle Paul lived over this further over this road. Mm -hmm. I, I know, know Uncle Paul. Yeah, you don't over there. And here, then here came this Rolls Royce Mercedes <laughs> Benz, that Stingray Corvette, yeah. just flying right in behind you. See? And I could have, I could have, I could have honked real loud, you know, six or eight times, you know, get, hurry up, underlay. Yeah. It's a wonder you didn't. Underlay. Yeah. underlay. You, you, you know, would have, a long time ago, you would have honked. Oh, no. That means, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> now you, now you slowed down a little. <laughs> oh, I tell you, y'all come on in. So how time. are you feeling? Never better. You said never better. Huh? Well, uh, listen, a guy at the Dallas Temple told me that. Um, yeah, say the scripture again. Let me know. <laughs> now he won't look at me like he was. Okay, just I won't tape it then. No, she's not going to tape it then. Tell it to me a little bit. Tell it to me a little bit. Talk to me a little bit. I got part of hearing. Well, this scripture is found in Doctrine and Covenant. Thank you. 
knows the scriptures and he said, happiness is there. And that goes forward. He didn't make a mistake. He was in an airplane, car, a temple, or wherever. He had no fear of weather problems, mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That gives me. I guess I know whether I'm supposed to teach seminary or not, huh? Yeah. yeah. I guess I've gotten my answer. I've been praying for. <laughs> right there was your answer. <laughs> I don't know what made you say that, you know. Well, like I said, I've been praying for an answer, so answers come in many different ways, and yeah. oftentimes through other people. think my children will ever be able to come back here. I did this years ago with my mother's side of the Let family. Junior and I do a temple, uh, we do a Kelsey tour. Oh, do you really? With the temple missionary. Oh, really? Oh. And before you leave here, I've got a lot of it. We have uh, oh, I would well, love we that. We have 23 missionaries yeah, we've had from different parts of the uh, United States, uh -huh. Utah, California, mm -hmm. and they were, they were on, uh, they were actually missionaries uh, on missions as workers at the Dallas Temple. And so they got to uh, uh, made an appointment with us, and they said, we want to see Kelsey. Yeah, the importance of the early well, There's not Kelsey. too much to Kelsey now, but it has a lot of history. Yeah, so 23 of them came down that day <coughs> and spent the whole day, and boy, did we give them a history. Yeah, we, yeah, we have a lot of journals. We have a lot I history. think the two of us together, and that's what I pursue with. Okay, now say, write down what? Over here. Right over there. See that tree? Can you uh -huh. can you see that tree? Yeah. Right between here and that tree was the last house we lived in. That was the area that we lived in when in uh, when we came to California. I used to come out here and meet the I want to get a picture too. But that's the best I could do because the house is all tore down and. Well, then pull over to the side here, Dad, for a second. It's their stop, and he's out talking. And that was where Sue lived down there. Who's Sue? I wonder if that's up there. Right there. No, that's no. not him. Yes, it looks like him. Gosh, man, this is his property here. Yeah. Well, well Gail's had it if he walks back. Well, it is him. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, for goodness sake. It sure is. I know it. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, yeah. Uh, be fair. I'm blocking him off. Now he can't get out. <laughs> you know what I tell him, Barnes? If I stop here, he can't get out. Right. So that way you, know, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm guiding, hey. I'm guiding them on down, like they're going down the runway, you know, an American Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, man. We just going to go back to your house. Now you're doing it. You know, just see it. You just see it. Oh, it's up here, Mom. I can take it. Yeah, it's what she was just taking a picture of there. Come out right over, over the car. Yes, sir. Hi, Uncle Barnes. Oh, good. That'd be wonderful. Okay, let me ask you. Ask Dad which way his house was. Which way did your house 
face, Dad, does it like this no, or that? Face the road. So, oh, okay. You guide them right on to where the place is. We can go up this here without walking in the tall grass. Go ahead. If yeah. You, if, you yeah. Don't, if it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right, good. That was perfect. Timing. Perfect timing, boy. Did you know? Do you remember that about 12 houses on this hill at one time? Uh, I don't remember. There's a house. 12 houses. Yeah. I don't remember 12 houses. You know what throws me off? I don't remember that many houses being on this hill. But There's you, a house right there and a house up to the top of the hill. Well, Sister Dixon's house, Dixon. house is right here someplace. Yeah. Sister Dixon. Gosh, she looks just like Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> just like looking at my Grandma. <laughs> he does. Yeah, he looks... I would too. <laughs> Believe me, I would too. It gives me a funny feeling. <laughs> Gives me a funny feeling just looking at you. It reminds me so much of her. <laughs> yeah, she was a sweet heart. She was. Yeah, they had a house. Dad's old place was right over here, you know. Well, you know, you've seen a picture of that old house. Right yeah, it's, it's, it's set right back there. there. And they built a house up toward that, where the bushes are up there. Yeah, right over there. Uh -huh. uh, where that clump of bushes. Uh -huh. And then over here where that other... For some yeah. reason or other, there's some bushes growing up there. Yeah, there's right in there someplace. Yeah, there's a pine grove right below this big old tree. Yeah, yeah. that big old tree was there when you was here. Mm -hmm. You yeah. probably played yeah. on. Did it. you play Deer on that tree, Dad? Yeah. yeah. Deer and I played yeah. under that thing. Lightning hit at one time, kind of <laughs> knocked it sideways. Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, that field you heard me talk about that grass fire that got away from me. Yeah, that was the field back there. Is that the right? Side, yeah. Back in there. Them trees way back down there is where Chester lives. Way back oh, there. yeah, that's right. Way yeah. back there, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's where old Lane and Wilma was born. Oh, really? I uh, believe it was. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's, that's, you know, that was, I must see it have been pretty little. Oh, you yeah, were. I just don't remember it. Well, you were very well. I don't remember because I remember them most of the time being in Pittsburgh. The Dane's Hall was right there. The other side of the yeah, and I remember the old metal, uh, the old metal laying there, sheets of metal laying there all filled up. All of my childhood it was laying there, yeah. rusty and everything. Yeah. And it's probably still up somewhere still laying there. An old store building was right in here. See, this road was about so wide. Yeah. Dad's barn was sitting right there. Yeah. Then he moved it back there. When you guys built, he moved it back there. Look the back of house. These hills seemed a lot steeper. They, they've lowered them. They've lowered them all. Yeah. Since yeah. they put this road in here, yeah. they cut them all down. It seems like they take a lot of acres these, right in here. You yeah. Know. You see the uh, trees way over yonder? Yeah. Did you mention about where I was born? <laughs> yeah. There's a group of trees over here. There's a little hill right over yonder. Yeah. I told yeah. him that's where Chester used to live. And that's where I. Think. That's where I was born. And that's where Junior was born. And that's old right. and, and that's a couple of trees over right, right, right yonder. Yeah. Right over there. Yeah. Little, on a little hill. Yeah. They told you about, they told you about the uh, name in Brown. Little house right up here. Well, I know that. I remember <laughs> that. I was going to high school when I lived there. I was coming out of here and caught the bus right out there. I know it. Well, Dad, tell, tell Uncle Brian about the man you met in town. Oh, gee. <laughs> this you, wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it. We're and I, I wouldn't believe it except for I saw it and I was there. So <laughs> it happened. I only talked to one guy over there in Gilman. Okay. But who do you think it was? <laughs> C.H. Robinson. Yeah. Remember Robinson? Yeah. Remember Harry Robinson? Well, all Dad said was, yeah. my you name's Futrell, you know and he Robinson said, did. Brack Futrell's son? Yeah. <laughs> well, Robinson carried our mail, too, out here. Yeah. For area. years and years. Yeah. Robinson. Yeah. And that's the only guy. The only guy, guy he spoke to there. There he was on the street, and we're walking along, and I looked back, and I said, huh, he's 79 now. Yeah. And I thought, there's an interesting guy. I bet I said, you know, finally I did. I just walked over there to him. And I said, how how long, excuse me, how long have you been living here in Gilman? And he said, all my life. Because <laughs> I got a good one here. <laughs> and Dad says, I graduated from Gilmer High in 44. And he says, I graduated in 33. You hit a home run. Uh huh. That's right. That's exactly. I said, you won't top that one, Dad. And he wanted to keep on talking. I said, I know we could talk to all day and all night and then still have things we forget. A lot of times, you know, guys go and get old and they look different. Yeah. And uh, I'll go over there and walk in some place and God woke up to me and said, Do I know you? And I said, I don't know. I seem like I know your face, but I don't know you. Uh huh. He'd say, Well, I used to dance at the play and dance and 
did we have a time? He said, when you burn weed, and I said, yeah, that's me. See, I don't for a long time. But uh, when that house was there, all that was in trees over there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and all behind Dad's house was uh, pine trees. Now, where was the dance hall? Right there behind, 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 behind this white house here? The dance hall was right there? Mm. And it burned out. Josh Oak still was right down there. Yep. Yeah. That was known as the General Mercantile Store. The General Mercantile. And the depot was down there. And the train <laughs> came, came through here. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. right down through there. Yeah. I rode on the train. That sucker when it came in. You did. Yeah. Yeah. If you remember, we didn't know what some of your pictures somewhere there, there are some story somewhere that tells about the railroad mm -hmm. in Kelsey. In the building. Oh, that's by the right. Railroad. That's right. And the old that. story of way back in the early 1900s. And right down there in that low spot is where that railroad and those cars. 1916. Oh. Those buildings. Yeah, there you go. 10 or 11 years before I was even born. Yeah. There was a railroad and it was active and there was a uh, depot and everything, I guess, down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But this guy, anyway, this one more thing Cotton about yeah. this Robinson. Right. I finally got around to telling him my name, I guess. I uh, somehow didn't think about telling him what my name was. Well, and he I said, no, yeah. he, he didn't ask you. You asked him his name, and he told you, and then, then you said, oh, gosh, you know, yeah, I remember that name. And, and then I said, Dad, tell him your name. Cause you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't mentioned yeah. my name. Yeah. And he says, well, he said Futrell, and then he said Futrell. 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 And Futrell. he said, are you, go ahead. And he says, right back are at you. Are you Futrell's son? There you go. And Dad just I broke, over. well, he I broke up. <laughs> And I leaned over and I said, that's my grandpa. <laughs> and I says, and that's his father. And so I said, you have to excuse us. And I started crying. <laughs> and, and yet you only, you only met and talked to one person. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right. That's that is. Like, you tell me. Mental telepathy. Yeah. You tell me. Yeah. That's just. And he said, all those people, J.C. Wade, oh, yeah. He knew them every. He knew them all. All these people that lived out here, uh, gosh, he just named them all off like that. Well, being the mailman, he'd know all right. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I said, you know, I, the mailman I remember. I said, did you smoke a cigar? He said, no, sir. Know? No. I said, well, Boy. no. He said, I didn't. I says, well, the mailman I remember when I was a kid and we lived over there in the middle of Kelsey was Harry Rutledge. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, he knew Harry Rutledge. Oh, yeah. yeah they Harry. both worked for the same outfit, you know. He did. Yeah. And so, yeah. anyway, we had quite a conversation there for a few minutes. And she got it on the mm -hmm. tape and everything. As yeah, soon as we picked ourselves up. Oh, look at that little yeah. 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 Anyway, now. Is there anything else in this area? Hey, little puppy. Oh, that's back then was a zoo over there. And then we parked the camper out there. Yeah. Yeah, but you you've been out to Arizona. Times I lived part of the time I lived over there, and we walked uh, over by the church to get to this. Place. Now where is it we're going? To the, where I went to grade school, where I had uh, LDS missionaries for teachers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> up here. And right what there. was the name of the general authority that was your principal? Christensen. He lived right in that house right there. El Ray Christensen lived right in that white house right there. Huh. When he was the principal of this school, yeah. 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 Does anyone live in the school now? Oh, I don't think so. It's a building, huh? Just a building. This was our play yard here. God, it's there. Come out here and play marbles. Recess. It had two floors, that's the only difference. But it's the same old red brick. Just two is floors. This is the one that's in that picture that I found in genealogy? Yeah, yeah. Which goes way back, and it was two stories then, probably. Yeah, I remember, because well, you is, said. This is the bottom floor right here. Yeah, the old red brick. Yeah. This is it. Start to that class is up there. We sure did. Up, up Remember, Elder Moss? Elder Moss. Remember Elder Moss? Elder Moss. Elder Moss. Mr. Uh, Christian. Talk right up here? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there you... That what? was... Did it... I think... I think... Uh, 
Sister Stout. Remember Sister Stout? Ooh, well, poison ivy. Okay, I'm not going to get too friendly with these. The fire ants, the poison ivy. Uh, I saw the fire ants. No, no point in running a risk. Trying to get the shade instead of the uh, yeah. But that's, I'm just trying to find that's something. Pretty I just started to say I know that's what she's looking for, something to pick up, huh? That's pretty original. I'll tell you that. But look at the woods and everything all around. They used to fly back in these woods. Oh yeah. We had stick horses. <laughs> have a lyric. And we'd go down during the noon hour, I'd go down to, right through those woods and go down there and get a box of vanilla wafers and a soda water or something. Sometimes. To the store. Yeah. To the store. To, to the, the store, store down there, uh -huh. yeah. There's a shortcut to the store. Right. <laughs> a lot of times it's in that direction, which is north, about uh, half a mile or three quarters is where we live. That's where you live then, yeah. And we, we'd walk to school back and forth. To the woods. The woods, it wasn't grown up like this. Oh, so, yeah. Dad, what grades did you go to here? Well, we went through the seventh grade, didn't we? First through the seventh. Yeah, first through the seventh. So you just one. changed rooms when you right. went to a different grade. Right, right, uh -huh. that's right. Yeah. Missionaries from missionaries from Salt Lake City came down and, uh, yeah. and taught us, and that was the what was down there. That's the teachers. I'll show you that as we go back down. It's the home now. Elder. L. Ray Christiansen. Yeah. L. Ray Christiansen yeah. was the principal. Remember, right. Remember I remember Sister Stout. Uh, Sister Christiansen. Right, right. And, and, uh, Are you rolling? I am, ma'am. Okay. Um, that, what games did you play down here? Didn't you all play? <laughs> this was the hill I threw Joy Hamberlin's lunch down one day. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why I did that. I can't remember why I did that. that that's probably the meanest thing I did was. <laughs> oh. What were some of the games? We played marbles. We played Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover, why don't well, you come over? Well, you know, we always ran out here to play marbles, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And top, spin, oh, yeah. spin oh, those yeah. top. Draw a circle. And oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. played down here in the street. Right we had, now, bull, there's a we had bull's eye, eye which is a big oh, circle, and cat's eye, eye, which is there's a lot small. There's a lot of Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Another. And there was a game we also <laughs> played by drawing a line and tossing. She thought she tossed something. Coin. Coin. Huh? Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Baseball. Of course, mumble peg. Oh, mumble, mumble peg, peg with, a, with a knife with two blades out. You I know. know it. That's right. Four mumble peg. That thing, right? <laughs> Man. Yeah. And then back behind this was the old Binion Hall. Yeah. Yeah. Built, You've got pictures of that. Mm -hmm. uh, built in 1929. And I and you know I learned how to do the uh, one step and the two step dancing. <laughs> at that place. And you know who taught me? Uh -uh. Glenna Bradshaw. Oh. <laughs> Glenna Bradshaw yeah. taught me right over there. I wouldn't dance. I was shy. Yeah. Well, over in the corner, you know. You wasn't a dancer, I remember that particularly, but you did get around to it. Right. You got it. You got kind of pulled into it. And one of the <laughs> yeah, one of the biggest crowds we've ever had, though, in my opinion, was uh, there were about between six and seven hundred. Bob Wills and his Texas oh, Playboy. Geez. You remember that, Melvin? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> what was that, Dad? Yeah. yeah. Bob, Bob Wills and his Texas Playboy. Yeah. Oh. That would have drew a crowd, all right. Yeah. They could play. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. man. Steel guitar, yeah. violin, yeah. banjo. Oh, yeah. San Antonio Road. San Antonio Road. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this is it right here. Now I want to check out. This is. Asking an awful lot of this place to still have this old Indian cemetery over here, but I don't know whether. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave that up to the two of y'all. Yeah. It's, it's really grown back in there. It doesn't mean a whole lot, but it. You it never did know who they were, except we heard they was an Indian family, and they was buried over here. Also, there were some Sanders who lived there. Oh, was there? I believe Sanders was a name on. Sanders. On the tomb. On the little. Grave marker, yes. I believe it was Sanders. Yeah. Sanders. I think so, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And they lived there, and that's why they is buried there. <laughs> now, that's the way it ought to be. That's, that's right, be that's able, right, exactly. When, when you should be able to do that if you want to. And you when we lived in Beeville, which is between uh, I've heard San Antonio and Corpus, <laughs> yeah. well, uh, the Sanders, the Sanders family lived right across the, the, the highway from us, Yeah. and they came up, and they're kinfolks. Some of them buried right there. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Now, yeah, see, you're getting in there now where I'm not gonna get to this is the corner of it. I believe the gate is right. It's down from this this corner. I'll go with you. Go to the now. Oh. Uh -huh. I believe it's uh, the gate is right. I believe you're right. I think you're right. I remember it's down. No. Down more, he said, Dad. Uh -huh. Yep, there's more of a gate down here. More. See that gate down there? There is a big gate, yeah. There was a trail. Down Sanders there. Cemetery. Yeah. Family. Family buried on their own property. That's what it is. And it's just a little point of interest. It didn't mean, well, we'd walk up. This was here. That's what I said, Sanders Cemetery. I didn't, I didn't know you oh. saw that. Mm. You just, I thought you were making that. Thing. No. Boy, too bad now. If you can see, I knew what I was talking about. Yeah, you do. But it's pretty well grown up back there. Well, there's still I mean, people the, buried there, and they the trail ran down through here. Well, you can kind of see it. Always, mm, it's scary, know. like, huh? Mm. It was old then. The old grave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Somebody thought to put a train. Just too bad. I don't know. I said Indians, but I was probably wrong about that. I think there was a lot of kids that make stories. Maybe some Indians are buried there, something like that. Yeah. They were yeah. here, they were here the way kids time. talk. But it's family, officially, I guess. A family, yep. But isn't that neat? That's yeah. Look at that little tree there. Uh huh, isn't that something? Tell them to come on up. Yep. And I'll tell you, if you don't think this, this is really neat. This is really neat. The little cistern right over there, that the building, and then the top of the side of it. You mm. see that dark? Uh huh. That's a cistern. Well, it's, it has water in it. Mm. So, a guy, a couple of guys fight on that thing one day. I'm telling you, they fought till one of them dropped. One of them is named Walter, and the other one is named. Right, I think. They got in the fight, and they on top of that thing down there. They fought like it was a boxing ring, you know? Oh, they brother. They though. They mad at each other. I want to get your picture there in the doorway of the schoolhouse. I get on this is bugs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now we're going to the church here in Kelsey. Let me see if I can wipe it off a little bit. No, you go ahead and do your thing and I'll take care of that while you're doing it. Uh, trying to make a towel or something. So you yes. might be able to wipe that side off. Got a little bit of Kleenex. Yeah, right. That would be. Let's get that back there behind okay. the city. Yeah. This is different. This hill. Right out here should be a slab of concrete. You don't do away with concrete very easy. Oh, right there. There it is. And what with was that? Sandstone. Oh. Sandstone there. Oh. That's where they had their dances. Wow. They, on Friday night or Saturday night, they'd put a rope around there <laughs> and they'd put cornmeal on the concrete <laughs> to make it slip good. And boy, they, they'd dance. Somebody and live Uncle, in the church? Uncle J.C., I think so. That's what I heard. Yeah. What kind of house would that make a church? <laughs> well, they, they've redone it. It didn't used to be brick. Take a whole hand there. Several prophets came to visit and spoke at this church during 
conference. Oh, yeah, that'll spread. Oh, really? On July the 24th. Right. Wasn't it July the 24th? That's right. On Pioneer Day. Pioneer Day, nearly every yep. year. Been and, and they came here because this was... What the, about 800 people here? This was... Uh, the original, original uh, Mormon colony. Right. And that's why they would come down here. That's right. This was, they were trying to get a stronghold right. in the church in the south. And this was it. And so they branched off to Dallas and, those, and everywhere, you know what I mean, from here. No, they're she's a nurse and she's not here. This but this was the front door here. This was the way you went up to the church. Uh, this front is the front door. Door. Oh, okay. Okay. And on July 24th, they have tables underneath a tree. And what was on those tables? Well, they had pop and the cold, cold cups of ice. Right. Uh, on the tables. Well, I think of cakes, pies. Yeah, homemade. Yeah, yeah right. things like that. You That's know, where, where, yeah. where you know it goes. You know, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> What's that what out there? Said? I know. When, listen, when y'all get back on the road, please, uh, please don't think. Uh, you know, you know what? Uh, remember, we used to hand out uh, cards for politicians. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You remember a congressman yeah. by the name of Lindley Becker? I certainly do. Uh -huh. He was my favorite guy. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Well, I thought I was such oh, a big shot. Handing out cards for him. I know it. Who were some of the prophets that came here? Do you remember? He's got the name of every one of them. Is that right? Surely God. Oh, good. Maybe Back I can get a copy of that. Joseph Fielding Smith was, uh, this was the building that, that Dr. Brown claimed that he came in. <gasps> that this he was is, speaking at, and a goat building. came up the, the uh, yeah, He claimed he came aisle. and made a talk, and I guess he did. He, well, he wouldn't oh, say it. He said he was in the good. service. How many were, could that hold? No telling. Several what? hundred. How many could it hold in there? Seven. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty large, yeah. Uh, pretty large for no. It place. wasn't brick like this in those days? No. She's got pictures of it. Right? She's been showing all while we're up talking. She's been showing uh, all these pictures that she okay. has. Uh, and so they have put right What's that down there, Dad? They have, have fifty-yard mm -hmm. dash. They have hundred-yard dashes. Yeah. They'd eat and all that. Then they'd go over and they had the base. They had baseball game. Uh -huh. And did you know what? If you'll remember, one time they had one bat and one baseball. Yeah. And one time John Mack and I hit a home run over in the pines and they couldn't find it and had to cancel the game. That was the end, <laughs> that was the end of the game. Baseball and baseball. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll what do you that. think that is down there? A mailbox? A mailbox. In, inside some brick there? That's all it is. Mailbox. It looks like an old one. This was the, this was the, the, the tall, the, the steep hill that went straight down that corner. Yeah. Went up to the schoolhouse. Yeah. yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah. We used to. When we, that's the way I walked to school most of the time. Through there, through there. Sometimes I'd go the way we drove there. Sometimes I'd go that way. Depend on how I felt. First, uh, yeah. Church? I believe. I believe the seat was. Oh, oh. right by here though. Yeah. Yeah. About eight hundred. Well, he don't know where that is. The next stop. Right? Now this is the place where Uncle Marvin was born. Yeah. Now Dad doesn't think it's the house that was there because. It looks so different, okay. but this was the, where it was located anyway, in this plot of land. Then right across the road is the landmark there that talks about, talks about Kelsey, as you can see. And in short, there right next to it is where the, the general store was, or at least that's a part of what it used to be like. Now we're going to go up the road, and as you can see, right up there it says Kelsey Cemetery, and I guess that's where our next stop will be. Really? Oh, yeah, Dad. Dad, they got a bunch of Wades over here. Have, have serving in the war? How about A.B. Way? How about A.B. Way? I heard him. How about you? Yeah. All three of us is named. That's about the, uh, you know, the war. That's about the Spanish-American War. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, are you looking for someone special? Yeah, I'm looking for some
Or, or if you trail. I don't know about you trail unless you're right down the road. Vietnam War. This way. But Korean War. Each flag represents World War II. Here you go. See? J. Calvin Wade. Well, here's a bunch Jr. of other Rowan B. Wade. And mm -hmm. here's uh, John Ed Wade, of course, is his John, brother. Yeah. And then over here, let's see. Rowan. Alfred. You know Alfred? Yeah. B. Wade. Mm -hmm. And Eugene Wade. Mm -hmm. Right there. Well, isn't that something? Delbert yeah. Walters. Yeah. I've yeah. heard of him. Melvin Ward. There's those Lindsay. Lindsay McKnight. Yeah. Delbert McKnight. David McKnight. Well, isn't that thoughtful of him to do something like that? And then over here, let's see. World War II. This is the location here in Kelsey where the house stood where my dad was born, here in Kelsey. Okay, start, say some of the... This is the, this is the location of the house that I was born in. This is the property that it's set on. It's been torn down years ago, but this is where it all started, right here. And right there's the road. And a, it, describe how it was just like fields like that everywhere, or was yeah, like that? Yeah. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, woods around here have grown up since I was a kid, of course, and. and uh, That was some of our pasture over there. That was that first house over here. Off over here to the side over here. And then there was some on the other side of that house that you see down there that we also had pasture. And that was where one of my uncle, uncle my uncle Travis lived in that house. At one time, uh, uh, my grandpa and grandma Futrell lived there where that house is. I think maybe in another house because that one looked kind of new. But in that location and across the road to the right is where Uncle Johnny uh, raised his family and then later came to California. But way off down there past where that truck is, is where our dairy barn was. And we're going to try to walk down there and see if we can, how far we can go down there while we're over here. But you spent a lot of time here, huh? Oh, and on yeah. This road and... Yeah. I, me and David, me and David played over here a lot in his yard. Because he had a lot of shade trees in his yard, and it was a little cooler. But, Especially uh, if it was a day like today, huh? Yeah, and this <laughs> is where our cows was. So my dad would come over here, and I'd help him milk, and then, then I'd come up here, and me and David would play and uh, run a horse up and down this road out here. And, and uh, Did your dad build the house that you lived in here? No. He didn't no, build it, huh? Uh -uh, no. Uh -uh. Not to my knowledge, he didn't. He built the next house we lived yeah. in over there by the store, and I'm sure you took some. Do you ever go off over there? Oh, yeah. Mostly that way, though. Mostly that way. Huh? Mostly down that way. Because that's Looks like there's lots of woods down there, too. My grandpa's property was more down that way. And there's a hill there. Down in there. And then there's a creek that runs across down there. And we'd call our cows in. There's a peach tree. We'd go out and we'd call them in. And whatever. You have a peach tree. Milking twice a day. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we've always been still here. And these, these were flags. My mother just loved these kind of Did she, flags. Were these here? No. I, but these no, are the kind I she liked, know. though. Those, those kind of go. Yeah. After years, they wouldn't be. But that she did like those kind, of. Very huh? much, but she liked them. But she would have had these kind, probably. They call them flags. This oh, they look flags. like flags, yeah. And they come up and bloom certain times of the year. Different, oh, pretty bloom. Oh, yeah. Yep. Going to waste right now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Because they still got business dairy, going on. And this truck has to come over here. <laughs> they make sure they get their money. Yeah. I'm coming with you. Tell her to go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's got the air going. So. 
gas from Durant, but actually it was stickier back in Indiana and Ohio <laughs> than it is here. Really. Huh. Yeah. And I admit that if you turn it down. But I realize it's humid though. It's humid. But yeah. July and August is a lot worse. Yeah. This is this is kind of a pleasant day really. Or anything near summer. You feel that little cool. So yeah, every a, once in a while you get a little breeze. Kind of a pleasant day really. Some of these people got this this country under their skin, boy, and they just didn't leave. They just... Is this where the cows feed or something? Or wood feed leaves. or something? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. this fence up like this when you were here? Well... Or a fence of some kind of... Some kind of fence was here. Oh, smell those more cows. more or less ended this road down here, but it didn't used to end. It used to go down the hill steep hill up another hill and keep on going. We just got a little smaller once we passed the trail houses here. The grinding was off over there. And this this house was if you remember the picture of me in a rocking chair. Oh I do. When I was uh, a baby. You could just see legs behind you kind of? Now that's not the house obviously mm -hmm. that's a newer house. But, but that's, that's where, where it was taken. That's where it was located. And it was behind that house is where that rocking chair was. Oh, yeah, I yep. remember that. So picture. you see, you tie this together with that. Sure. And I'm a little baby there, and that's where I came from. And they brought me down here one day and got a picture. <laughs> Isn't that neat? About 200 yards down here. <laughs> that looks so neat, that road. My grandpa and grandma lived in that house. Right there on that location. And who was over here to the right? Was Uncle Johnny? Yeah, off the, over here, yeah. Like that's part of this area. That's part of his dairy over here. You see what looks like a foundation or something over in here? Mm -hmm. Right over there, that's part of his dairy. Part of where his dairy was, right there. And his house was sitting over here. And they've taken down all these trees for some reason, because he had a lot of trees in his house. Right over here is where Uncle Johnny's dairy was, right over there. Where that round, where that tub is over there, right over in that area, that was where his dairy was. Right there. Where was your dad? We're going to walk down this way. So I don't know. You can pull on down. Okay. Probably pull it down behind that house. I don't know. Is this the road? Well, it's part of the Because I don't see anything else. Okay, say that again. That could. If you can see the edge mm -hmm, of the concrete, that could, as near as I can tell, concrete doesn't go. I right, mean, it doesn't. Know, unless they break it up, haul it, it away. It doesn't disintegrate into the ground. And that's been there a lot of years. And as near as I can tell, that could be the location of our dairy. And that as was, it the, was that right. was the floor of it there. I bet it was. That was the floor, and that creek, that creek. Right, oh boy. Where's this? I don't see a creek, Dad. Way down there. Oh, I see. Way down there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's the best. That was a good hole. Down here, that was a good hole of water there. Oh, you can see it way down there. The old tree. And on past the old tree. Come over here, Dad. I could walk. I don't know what's down there. I don't know. Would be Come over here, but I can, I can tape it better. So I just have a feeling. Top. I just have a feeling. That's all right. I bet it's it was. Right there. Sure, I bet it is, Dad. What else would it be? Because this is the general location. And my grandpa and grandma's. Oh, that that cow's herd. Oh. My grandpa and oh, grandma's that's sad. house later, when they moved out of this one, they moved down there, past where that where those bushes are down there, right down in that area down there. Where the house was, it's long gone. Because the cows are doing the same thing now as they did then. See them down yeah, there? Yeah, and under the Which trees. Out here in the back, call them. Zoo, zoo. Here they come, if it's the right time of the day. But you better not call them early. Because not, not it looks like there's water over there, too. There's a creek there. Yeah. There's another branch. That was a well, look at you see that. There's looks like there's a lot of water out there. Yeah, a little. little Figures that the cows drink out there. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Turns around, looks like, isn't anyone going to help yeah. me? 
Roger does that. Right? Yeah, it does. What's he doing? Sorry, one minute.